Welcome to the project demonstration of IoT ECG health monitoring system along with uh, disease prediction by using uh, machine learning language with help of Raspberry Pi 3 A plus. So in this version we are using Raspberry Pi 3 A plus which will taking care of input modules from this ECG plates and that will be read by the Arduino you know, to the Raspberry Pi 3. So why because uh, AD, AD 823T ECG module will provide us the analog data. So that can't be understood by this Raspberry Pi 3 directly. Why? Because it doesn't have the inbuilt analog to digital converter. For that purpose, we need to use the Arduino Uno board which will convert the analog to digital and then digital to serial. That serial data is input to the Raspberry Pi 3 board directly. And based on that, it will process that information and it will check with the machine learning algorithms and it will predict the diseases and that will be displayed on the LCD screen. So there is a two modes. One is the auto mode and one is the manual mode. The switch is above is going to be the manual mode, below is the auto mode. In the like uh, auto mode, the system will capture the ECG data and it will store that in a like string format and that will be sent to the Raspberry Pi 3. Then it will process that and that will be displayed on the LCD screen continuously. And also same details will be uploaded to the cloud, like uh, cloud, the Blink application. We can access this data from anywhere in the world directly. So here we have interfaced the Arduino Uno board between the sensor module and Raspberry Pi 3 and uh, right. So this, uh, yeah, one more thing is like in uh, uh, man data set mode. So using these four control buttons, we can select the data sets and based on the data selection, the system will predict the disease if is the matching with this data set with the disease one. Then we can send the uh, message to the Blink application. Right. So now uh, the system will uh, continuously monitor the in manual mode uh, it will go with the data set mode 1 and in auto mode it will go with the ECG plates data directly. So this is the breadboard just interfacing between the uh, like uh, modules and uh, interfacing for the switch. So before on the kit the first thing is we need to enable the hotspot in your phone. So for that change the hotspot name to project 5993 without any space without any capital letter and password should be 123456789 and ap band should be 2.4 gigahertz so after enabling the hotspots log into the blink application there we can see the device is offline means the device was not connected to the internet so that's why it's showing the offline so now on the power supply to this raspberry pi wait for around 10 to 15 seconds duration once the booting was successfully done yeah actually we need to mount this uh, there is a like electrode Right, right. So I forgot about the ECG gel. So mount the ECG gel and place this electrodes on your body. This yellow color should be left side and uh, red color below the right hand side. And next this is going to be the right hand side. And now on the power supply to this Raspberry Pi. Right. So wait for around 10 to 15 seconds of duration. Now connect. So right. So it is data set mode. If I select the data set one, sorry, this is two actually. It's two. Analyzing same message will be displayed on the Blink application. So we can see that based on your network speed, the data will be uploaded. So you can refresh that. So this is the one and two. So actually 5G network is a bit slow. Now let us go with the right. So mount it properly you will get the normal. So when the heart rate was above 100 beats per minute, so it will go with the abnormal. So if you remove that, place the electrode. Now place it in auto mode for data selection mode. Let us check with the blink application section. Yeah, there is a disconnection from the hotspot. Now I just check it. So on the hotspot properly and now 
so decision prediction it will keep on executing that analyzing and this uh, display and if I select the set 3 this is the 1 and 2 and uh, 3 and 4 this is a 3 I have wrong uh, it will return 1 here analyzing yeah now let us check with the when you are keeping in auto mode sensor mode you should mount this properly again this I am showing uh, previously there is a problem with the blink application due to this data, data disabled so right now when keeping in auto mode below is the auto mode right so you are getting the normal one so when you are getting the abnormal heart rate then automatically it will display the abnormal heart rate so if you are keeping like this then you can uh, there is a chance to get the abnormal heart rate so this is fluctuation that's right okay so if you disconnect any electrode then automatically it prompt us to electrode normally right so in this manner we are going to monitor the uh, ecg by analyzing that and decision uh, like a disease prediction